Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to explain to you guys a that well at least the method that I used to get myself up to level 70 as fast as possible. So there's two ways you can do this and um, both ways are probably going to cost you some money. Well three ways. One way is not going to cost you a penny and the other two ways are going to cost you a few pennies. Okay, cool. So let's go over the free version first. And that is, um, you can do, if you press the period key, you got this Fayul, um, uh, all, all these um, instant adventures you see over here. So what you want to do is, you want to go on this one over here. It'll be different when you watch this video, but the bottom one, select the bottom one. And uh, you're going to do instant adventures and just keep doing those until you level up. Um, eventually, when your leveling becomes slow, it'll be real, real fast in the beginning. When it starts to slow down, then what you can do is you can basically um, do storyline missions, but in the zone that sort of meets your level. So if you level 20, for example, you want to do the level 20 area uh, story missions. I'll show you how to find those. There it is, the porticulum. So what you do is, if you're one of the good guys like me, this is where you're going to go. So, 6 to 20, Silverwood. So any, any, any missions you do in here, story missions, um, will grant you a good amount of experience and you'll level up in good time as quick as what you can without spending a penny. Okay, so if, like me, you don't care about the money and you just want to get up to level 70 as fast as possible, there is a very fast method and that is... Where is it? The Ascended Essentials Pack. I think that's what it is. No, I'll find it. I'll find it. Don't you worry. Honey Beaver, what was it called? Boost. It's under boost. Okay, yeah. cool. There it is, level 65 character pack. Right there. So you see 5,400 gems? That's a heck of a lot. But it's going to take you straight to level 65. So, and also you're going to get the exceptional crafting boost. So what they, these over here, exceptional crafting boost. And what that'll do is that'll take your crafting straight to 450. So, I think it's worth it. Okay, so once you've done that, these over here, experience files. 160% experience, extra experience for two hours. You need those, and you're going to need quite a few of them. I think I've got some there. What's that? Experience. Uh, experience. I've I got a couple left. Okay, so... Uh, that's that's the other method. That's if you if you want to spend some good money, you need to do that. Actually, I would recommend probably doing that because even if you were to do the next method, I'm going to tell you, it would probably end up costing you the same amount of gems because you, you can see these 160 ones are 900 each, so they're quite expensive. Okay, so the next the next method is um, what you want to do is. Buy a bunch of those 160% XP potions, and when you get to about level 20, and your leveling starts to slow down, what you want to do is pop one of those potions and just do solid instant adventures. You'll get to level 65 as fast as possible. Once you level 65, what you need to do is you need to mentor your level down. So you go set ascended mentor level, drop it to level 60. There we are. And then get somebody to run you through what they call Gal Fortress. So if you've been watching our streams and you've been watching some of our other stuff, you'll see that we've been doing a lot of Gal Fortress. To get to Gal Fortress, what you do is, I'll show you where it is. An ascended. There we are. God damn it. There it is, so plane of water, 
this spot over there. It's called Gal Fortress, the top at the middle, that little well. Go there. Trust none but yourself. Cool. Once you're in here, you're going to go to there. See that cool green spot? You probably won't have any of this unlocked, so you'll just see a black map. Just make sure that you follow the road sort of southeast. So we're going southeast. Keep running. So just look at look at my screen and if you see the stuff you'll know exactly where you are. And there's the portal. You see that? So you look for this weird chain going across over there. And you know you're there. There it is. By that little bastard spider. Right, and in we go. Gal Fortress, there it is. And then what you're going to do is you're going to farm the crap out of this dungeon with your XP potion and you're going to have to do a lot of runs. Um, I think on level 69 to get between 69 and 70 is something like 3 billion XP or something. It's a lot. Um, so what you're going to have to do is run your XP potion and then <sighs> sorry it's quite late tonight and I'm pretty tired um, is with your XP potion you're going to get about 3% per run. So we'll whip these dudes' asses. There we are. So uh, you're going to get about 3% per run. So that means you're going to have to do at least 33 runs in here just to get from 69 to 70. And that's not including 65 to 66 to 67 to 68 to 69. If you catch my drift, you're going to do this a lot. So get used to it and uh, only do the first boss purely because time or minutes and this unless you got somebody who's real awesome and they got some awesome aoe and and they can burn through the dungeon in like 10 minutes if you if you can't do the dungeon the whole dungeon in 10 minutes only do the first boss because you're not farming sort of as as good as what you could what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run to the first boss get the ads These dudes can't really damage me that much anyway. I think they'll evade when I get to the boss anyway. If I keep running straight to the boss, they should run away. Not those two, but everybody else. So the boss is dead. Kill the dogs. You want to kill every single mob because it's the mobs that give you the XP. So now you would have 3% just for doing that. And then you just run out. I'll show you. Since you're here and all that. So you can't just run out and run in. So we just run out. So once you're out, kill the spider because you'll probably be respawned. Then you right click, or the group leader has to right click, reset instance, and you'll see at the bottom here in general it says Gal Fortress has been reset. Then you can go in again and do the same thing over and over and over, hundreds of times. Hundreds. And you will learn to enjoy it. See, it's all reset. 
Now this dude's gonna come blow it. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna stay in there any longer than I have to, because I've been in yet a lot. So, either way, once you get to 65, that's what you have to do. If you want a power level, that is. If you don't care too much, what I would do is the story mission. Keep doing the story mission. Eventually, you'll end up in Vostiga Peaks. And by the time you get there, you will be level 70. That's probably the best way um, to earn experience. Um, because although you're doing it this way, you're not really getting any experience. If I press U, you're going to see Planner Attunement. You're not going to have all these thousands of points like what I have over here. See, this is full, 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 almost full. And then these ones need some. But yeah, you're not going to have all that stuff. You're going to have very few. You're probably going to have like full, full, and that's it. I got all of those because on my other character, Alexa, um, I physically did a heck, heck load of story missions. So, and that's how I got all that stuff. And you need that stuff. So, at some point, you have to do missions, you have to get XP. Yeah, and you have to go, and, um, yeah, that's it. We'll leave it at that. Any questions, let me know. Drop it down in the box. If you, um, yeah, if, 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 you, if you feel like it, hit the thumbs up. And if you don't feel like it, hit the thumbs up. Catch my drift. Sweet. Okay, see you later.